Hello, Brenton with All Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up five of the Hot Wheels off-road premium car culture cars that I was able to find on the pegs. I was able to find all five at the same time. Uh, I have found it multiple times. I have been looking for the Chase. So the Chase piece, if you find the 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, all in black, you would have found the Chase piece. I unfortunately did not, but I did find the rest of the cars. We've got, again, the 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. We've got the 2018 Toyota 4Runner a 1993 Mercedes-Benz G-Class, a Big Air Bel Air, and a Range Rover Classic. I believe these are both done up in quite uh, iconic liveries. We've got the IWC, we've got the Cavalry Blue, which is probably the best Toyota color ever made. We've got a um, 56 Bel Air, and you can tell this is a 56 because it's got the square, even though those aren't headlights necessarily. Um, it's got the square. Uh, if these were rounded, they would be... Um, well, I guess if they're more like I-shaped, it's a 55. And then the 57, I don't remember what they look like on the 57. But it's also a 56 because the tail light kind of sticks out in like a bubble shape as well. The 55 and the 57 did not do that. 56 did. So 56, Big Air, Bel Air, and that like iconic 50s teal color. We've got the Land Rover color in, I forget what that's called. I think it's like a camel color, I believe. Um, or camel livery, maybe not. But yeah, these are cool cars. So let's go ahead. I'm not entirely sure if this one is in a specific tampo color, but Hot Wheels tends to do pretty good on their color choices. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is spectacular. Full size spare tire, which is always nice to see. Riveted on both ends, which is cool. A beefy kind of four wheel drive axle which is kind of nice because this is an off-road set of vehicles. It's got a light bar up front. Light bar up on the roof rack. Great tampa work, grill and headlights. Great rear tampos. This thing is a spectacular casting. Great example. Great interior as well. You can kind of see it's got some pretty good detail shifter center console seats bolsters that's fun stuff all right next up we have the 2018 toyota 4runner and uh i didn't notice this until i got in line my wife pointed this out that it was actually cracked and falling apart didn't really bother me though because i'm going to open it up anyway and uh let's see if i can slide it out yep i was able to slide it out i believe this is mimicked after the cavalry blue because it's, it's a trd pro color for that year um, I'm not entirely sure if 2018 had the Cavalry. I believe it did. I believe that goes back far enough to have it. I know they don't have Cavalry Blue anymore. DMC Forerunner. Not entirely sure what that is for, but it has great tampa work. Spectacular tampa work. Look at that. That's awesome. Great headlights. Great rim choice. This is very, very like iconic. You can see these on the road. They're awesome looking. It mimics the real life version very well. If you have friends or family members who own one of these, or I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be after this car. I did find multiples of these. Um, this one tends to be the one that's missing. Same with the, uh, the Land Cruiser, but I was able to find them at multiple stores thus far, so. If you're looking for a set, they should be out there. Uh, next up, we have the 1993 Mercedes-Benz G-Class in the iconic IWC livery. This is gonna be a left-hand drive. Well, actually, yeah, it should be. I don't know why it would be a right. It could be, I guess. I'm kind of surprised they chose this particular G-Wagon but yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. Team support, great tampa work up front. I think good rim choice on this as well. Kind of has the canvas back. Doesn't have um, a spare, an actual spare. I think this is just kind of like a spare mimic, spare cover, but not bad. All right, the 56 Big Air Bel Air. 
Let's go ahead and open up this. I'm actually really glad to see this in the premium set because it was a cool car. So I'm glad to see it as a premium. And the interior is the same color. There's no windshield on this thing, which if you watch roadkill episodes, you'll know that's kind of a, not the best idea. Obviously for off-road, you don't really want a windshield. Um, but if you're not going to be wearing a helmet, that's, you probably should at least put like a grate in there or something, but that would take away from the aesthetic of the, of the car, right? Yeah, it definitely would. Light bar, but no tampos, light bar, but no tampos, tampos on the headlights though, which is really cool. Great tampo work along the side, big, huge exhaust pipe coming out the back metal base, which is really nice. Decent tire choice. It's not the worst, not the best, but it's not the worst fits the casting gas tank or uh, probably a reserve gas tank i would imagine again great tamp work in the rear the bubble kind of tail lights indicate the 56. all right last up is the range rover classic let's go ahead and open up this again decent wheel choice not the worst not the best at least they have a repertoire of good rims and tires matchbox is kind of lacking on that on their premium side hot wheels at least has a number of different wheels to choose from both wheels and rims i think these actually might be the same wheels yeah they look like the same wheels different rims though love the castrol logo on there fantastic tampa work up top Great casting all around. There's the uh, front. So there you have it. There is the Hot Wheels off-road car culture car sales able to find on the pegs. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below and if you've been able to find them. And until the next one, have a good one.